Number three, Michael Ala Ala Tours making his debut in the blue jersey. In number five, the second row, Kane Laupepe has had an incredible season. Debut for the Hurricanes in Super Rugby and now on the cusp of a Rugby World Cup. In jersey number 15, someone that Mills Moliena is very familiar with, is Tim Nanai Williams. He's returning to the Manu Blue for the first time since 2017. And talking about familiarity, well, the coach of Samoa, Steve Jackson, he's very familiar with this place, having coached the Blues as an assistant a few years ago. Thanks very much, Steph. Here is the Heartland 15 lineup. The front row are very familiar to one another. Carmichael, Tufuddy, and Cameron all played together in the Heartland side last year. In jersey number six is the captain in the loose forwards, Brett Ranga. He was the 2018 Heartland Player of the Year and applies his trade for Thames Valley, the Swamp Foxes. In jersey number 15, Craig Clark. He's from Wanganui and he brings a ton of experience, both Super Rugby and a bit of Mighty 10 Cup in there as well. Okay. Well, let's hear from their coach now, Mark Rutini. Well, coach, I suppose the question I want to ask is um, how excited are these lads to play an international team such as Samoa? Oh, they're pumped. They're pumped, KT. This is the biggest game Heartland's ever played. So to get out on Eden Park and play Manu Samoa is huge for us. I know you've had a short uh, preparation for this one. So what's been the main focus leading to this one? Oh, we had 18 from back from last year, so that helped. So a lot of combinations are already there. Just getting the new guys on to what we want to do. We're playing a lot like we did last year and, and uh, not trying to work them too hard, but just getting as much coaching and rugby into them as we could. Have you tried to curb the enthusiasm with the boys uh, leading into this week? So I know it'll be a pretty uh, big one for them. Well, they're pretty relaxed anyway. You know, th these boys are Heartland boys, eh? but they're starting to pump up now. So, yeah. Good luck, eh? Thanks, KT. Two years, good wins against the Marist 15 and those two wins last year against Vanua and Taupo. And the veteran of this Heartland side, 35-year-old Craig Clare, played his fourth cap for this team. The Rural Bank manager has scored in the previous two matches, played Super Rugby 12 years ago for the Highlanders, and it's fantastic to have him still involved in the game of rugby. And Jeff Leeper, the 28-year-old, is 10, 28 and 10 days' time, I should say. He'd love an early birthday present with a win at Eden Park for the Heartland 15. On debut, the sales rep for the Waka Changi Bear brand from the White Star Club in Bullock. He is a terrific team man. <laughs> He'll have a lot of friends in that team given his job, will he? There's no doubt about that. Talk about the Pacifica challenge. There's no doubt it's a big challenge for these boys. Isn't really last week more representing their province in a domestic heartland rugby competition. And now on an international stage against an international side chock full of professional rugby players so it's certainly a daunting prospect for our heartland 15. 16th ranked in the world and you can see a mixed 2019 two losses in the pacific nations cup against the usa and fiji a good win against tonga though in trying conditions in the next three matches the test match against australia and then rugby world cup in Japan, stand by Russia and Scotland. And 26 year old Kane Laupepe out of the Bay of Plenty area, played for the Hurricanes as well. Big and strong with ball in hand, very effective at the breakdown. And he will be important for the Manu today and at Rugby World Cup. Happy fans for them. And as you mentioned, Richard Tim Dunai Williams turned 30 this year. Hasn't been back in the Manu jersey since 2017. Now with Clermont in France and Carl Tanana, here's some player. Oh, no doubt he is, Willie. And if he gets any ball with space in front of him, he can absolutely jam, no doubt about that. And we normally used to see him down playing for counties. Can't wait for him to get the ball today. He's exciting. First meeting between these two sides. The Heartland team was known as the Divisional 15 from 1988. And then they changed the Heartland 15 in 2005. This will not be a test match for the Samoans, but there are got a couple of players who are here on debut. As we now await the national anthems of the respected countries.
to sing the Aldebaran New Zealand National Anthem. Please welcome Robert Crichton. sang I'd say New Zealand and the banner of freedom for Samoa and now we await the haka from New Zealand this Richard Turner first time these two sides have met and for these men here most of them will be back at work on Monday morning but what a dream to be on Eden Park oh, there's no doubt about that and that's what we be very much part of what they deliver this afternoon, Willie, will be that level of excitement and enthusiasm to be on our National Rugby Stadium representing their country. So certainly an exciting time for the Heartland 15. And it will be led by Troy Taufare.
stage is set. The challenge has been laid down. And yes, interesting. Farmers, gas fitters, log truck drivers, teachers. One of the guys is in the mines. Sales rep builders, you name it. They're here as the Samoans look on. Match to be controlled by referee Paul Williams, Mike Fraser and Brendan Picker, all the two assistants, and Ben Skeen, the teacher from Auckland Grammar, and is today's TMO. We've just got a little bit of time. <clears throat> Talofalava and Kia ora, wherever you may be watching these pictures all around New Zealand and the Pacific and the world. And of course, there is the option in New Zealand if you wanted to look for the option. Commentary, the Samoan version. As we get underway with the boot of Ciutini, puts it nice and high, comes into the hands of right, he gets it out to Lepa. Big tackle coming in from Turl, who's a late call in for Chris Bowie, who was replaced. Now Brett Runga into the contact, that's still inside their own 22. Left foot of James Lash down the right hand side of the field. Nano Williams with a little bit of space. There's that trademark step. Matavao. His first touch of the ball. It's a nice run from Al Ala on Debut here for the Manu. Nano Williams stayed up in the line, grubbers it along the ground. Quick pace to this match. Great conditions mean that both teams are willing to give the ball plenty of space in here. Kick is charged down and recovered from Lilo. Samoa on the attack. Here goes Jordan Lay inside the 22. Matavao again gets it. Nano Williams at first receiver. So he's getting involved heavily with a nice offload there to Solia. Matavao goes left again. Nano Williams for the third time. Throws the dummy, taking in the Brothers tackle good. of Lepa and Runga. Gate. They've got an advantage here somewhat. Yeah. Matavao, kick over the top, he's taken out, they'll come back for the penalty. That's silly. Two yeah, sides wanting to play running rugby. Oh yeah, why not? Well, wait, wait, we wait, knew wait, that wait. was always going to be the intention of Samoa. No, absolutely not. The Heartland 15 have come with similar intent as well. Conditions perfect, so that's certainly encouraged to a, adopt that Jack. manner of yeah, yeah, but what do you want to do? Samoa now a decision Time and out. this is a okay. concern we'll Michael Ala Ala Toa time off we'll just, yeah, we just felt awkwardly out. did Michael Ala Ala Toa you'll see it in this replay here just got bent back a little bit caught in a compromising position right here and just knee gets caught it yeah, just gets player in between and then over the top and then force back and that's certainly going to stretch the tendons he's getting it heavily strapped up but not a great sign for Michael Alalotoa chosen to sign his allegiances nationally to the Samoan Jews and that's great to see player of immense talent and potential promise playing playing his trade at professional level in New Zealand so he had the option Willie, and he's chosen to represent Samoa. Well, World Cups only come along every four years, and so why wouldn't he do that? And I'll tell you another feature, Carl Tanana, is Tim Nunai Williams getting involved early. Oh, 100%, Willie, right from the get-go. You spoke about and highlighted him as a player, as one to watch, and definitely can see his influence, whether it be from the back or what? coming at a first receiver. That man right there has played here many occasions, so won't be daunted whatsoever, and they'll need him to come in the front line for sure. Time back on. Alalatoa gets the repairs and Samoa will look for the line out. Ulupano Jr. Sewatini out of the Bordeaux club, the 25 year old first five. He is a class act and it's great to have him on this Manu Samoan side. Plenty of movement. It goes to Lao Pepe. Now it's in the hands of Solia. Matavao gets in and clears it. That's a tilt. Now Pepe, who won it 
from the line out charges forward goes four short fourth phase to the right they go the same way again a little wider and nice defense coming in from clear Craig clear read it beautifully short ball four feet out coming from looking for work from the left wing that's always a great sign 26 year old Jordan lay from the Bristol Club and UK carries the ball yeah. now they Seaman. use the back play Seaman wide pass out numbers here Lilo steps off the left Lilo reaches a meter short the still the, the advantage Samoa now Pepe yeah, they miss him this time give it to lay lays over sure. in fact that's Ala Ala on debut well down and possibly thinking no longer for this game Ala 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 Toa he's strapped himself up he's got back into the game and he's picked himself up a big tight Michael Ala Toa great moment for him as you say Willie first time in the Samoan jersey but it was just sheer weight of possession and numbers here Samoa they showed good patience Lilo showed good discipline there. Temptation often just to stick the hand out and have a go yourself. And look at that, clear estate. Michael Alalatoa gets Samoa on the board. Well, how tough is this kid? Moments down earlier, getting strapped up, but just showing how tough. Good. Latch on from Lay, and the coach is happy for sure. Two props working in ten, and there Lay was on his shoulder and assistance. And so the Crusader scores the first try of the match. This misses it to the right of the post. And there he is, young 25-year-old first five for Samoa. They've got experience with Tusi Pissy, the 37-year-old on the bench. Yeah, they have. That's such an exciting player. In the final. So tenny. Signed a professional contact with the Queensland Reds as a 17-year-old Willie. So it showed Thomas at an early age. It's been all Samoa territory, 100%, 89% possession, and here they go. That ball's been lost and a real good opportunity here for the Hartman 15. Nambani Vula claims the ball, but there's no advantage, and they'll come back for the first scrum of the match. Yeah, untidy from Samoa at the restart. Solia just decided to let it go. It's going over his head, so he said, I want nothing to do with it. The bouncing ball in a game of rugby is always a dangerous thing. And not able to secure possession. They put themselves now immediately after scoring a try under defensive pressure here, Samoa. So a good attacking opportunity for the Heartland 15. We hit and we hold, all right? But James Lash is their go-to man. Crouch. He's got so many records in the Buller region. Scored a couple of tries in the opening round of the Heartland competition last week. He's out to the right-hand side with... Nah, it's a sloppy start, guys. Sloppy start. And on the right, standing right here, behind the scrum is away. Craig Clare. And you'd probably want to go right on this, wouldn't you, KT? We've got to get a stable platform first, Wes. So it'll be interesting to see no, how these two teams no match up scrum-wise. You think Samoa Boys, would have... Both sides, patience. Well, we saw in the, the graphic right. a weight advantage, but technique-wise, Heartland 15, and I've been working very hard, but yeah, the 8-9 right, definitely an option. Lafayette 2 and 9 is alongside him, the 26-year-old out of the Thames Valley. He's on debut Five. as well, the number 14 for the Heartland 15. Six! Hold there, Scrum hold there. first, and it's a good, solid one for the men in the black shirts. Leper gives it to Wright and some running ball. Lash pass on the inside. Claire is there, and it's gone forward. I'm oh, just asking the question there. The Heartland 15 players, a possible early tackle, but certainly very well read defensively from Samoa. Heartland 15 trying to create space on the inside by initially shifting the ball wide and looking to turn it back in. Same again, please, guys. It feed out of the Worcester Club. Boy! Set. Hold there. Great to see as well in the Samoan side. There are a couple of guys that are based 
and Samoa have been selected from the com home competition. As Samoa look to run it from inside their own 22, Lilo with a nice carry, good 15 metre gain there, and now they throw it back. Had a few players in front of him, and they thought they were going to kick to clear, but this is Samoa. They're happy to run the ball at any time that they get it. La Pepe with another carry. Mataval to the left. A few dummies thrown from Lehua. And he was in great form in the Pacific Nations Cup for Samoa. Playing at both center and wing. And now Mataval will kick. Out of the Aana Chiefs in Samoa is the halfback. And here's Craig Clear, 35 years old. Out of the Wanganui district of the competition, Lash with a little bit of territory. Nanai Williams steps off the right. Lafay Tuanai brings him down, the right winger on the left hand side of the field. Now, Paolo gives a nice short pass and it's gone back. Claimed by the Samoans. Mataval. Another nice little kick along the ground. The sideline will win the race. Yeah, well, good variation and variety from Samoa. Showing an intent to move the ball, but not how bent on it. On it, happy to play the territory move down. game. Move down, bring him down the back. At the back. The forward sub, front foot bring ball to march to. I like what I see Move so down. far from the Samoan side. Taufari overthrows the ball and Samoa with more possession. And now there is Sertini with a nice step after the dummy Matavao again. Big wide pass out to Lelo. All the experience from the 33 year old out of the Cardiff Blues. Nanai Williams put it on the ground, but it's been taken into the touch by the Heartland 15. Going a little bit lateral there, KT. Yeah, you've got to earn the right to go forward first and then just trying to get in behind them with the kick. They've already used one, but James Lash coming across, cleaning that up. Those two blokes, Lash and Nanai Williams, going to be integral to both teams' chances today. Motu Matu. Impressive in New Zealand rugby now with London Irish. Finds Teofilo Paolo. Good looking ball from the Samoans and now it's gone to ground. Ball turnover, leave it, leave it, leave it. Good turnover in the Heartland 15 are delighted. No thanks. Oh, yes, they would be managing to tie it up and then smiles on the face. Oh, the skipper, big runner for the Heartland 15. Oh, dominant position, dominant territory as well. Heartland 15 just trying to work their way into this. Their hands on the ball, set pieces looked all right. For me, first scrum was a good one when they fed it. So, we expect similar here. Five. Set. Hold. They look interested in running to the Heartland 15. As they get it out to Lash, the high kick. Nanai Williams looking straight into the sun, and he kicked it forward. Lash is there to recover. In fact, that's William Wright. A little halfback. Clear plays halfback. Look at the game line and the speed of the Samoan team to get up and put pressure on the ball handler as Lash gets it. And done really well to evade the first and then grubbers it along the ground. The bounce all important. That tackle looked a little high. Referee says play on. And Wright will kick again. Over the top, that sun really is right into the face oh, of the Samoan on players. Play. Coming back on side and now giving it to Lewa. Yeah, ball's there. Leave it now, Blues. Steal from the Heartland 15. So another turnover here 
cleared from Telfadit. Wide pass. Good pass to breaking through goes Kuroi Tamana. Leaves it back for Clear. Clear. Another pass to Wright. William Wright's in for the Hardland 15. Oh, fitting for me, Willie, that it was Craig Clear that threw that last pass to the try scorer right because it was Clay, Craig Clear's experience right back inside, almost inside their own 22, Willie, that got this Heartland 15 going. Knew that his halfback, William Wright, had got himself tied up in a more clear played halfback at one breakdown, then moved to halfback at the second breakdown. And then some good work there. Turning the ball over the Heartland 15. Lash involved on a couple of occasions. Sure, the nice little tip. How about the strength of Koroi Tamana there? And then clear again. Johnny on the spot. The pick and go. And he opens up the space for the halfback, William Wright. Lash with the conversion. Great turnover by Willie Payao. The winger going in. That's terrific, KT. 100 percent is because what it did is it let these guys keep their shape and Kroy Tamana, the way was able to hold their ball up, it gets back. Good straight and two by Craig Clare. Timing of the path absolutely on point. And the build-up out of South Canterbury scores the first for the Heartland 15. And they take the lead for the first time in the match. 15 gone. Bit of confusion between Clark and Lunga. Still on the side of the Heartland 15. Samoa walk over the top and get a penalty. Leave it, leave it for Black. Find the ball on the ground. Wait, wait, hey, 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 hey. Don't need that. We don't need that. There you go. Hey, listen, nine. I don't want to speak to you either. Four Black, hands. As you said, Willie, a little bit of confusion. Well, Communication from the heartland at the restart. And the penalty from the breakdown. And so Tenny looks to the sideline. There's a pretty good job about eight metres out. There you see both players go up, so it's untidy there. In fact, they did well to secure position, but then in his attempt to ensure they got possession, he's used his hand. Clark and being penalised for it. Oh, right, secured by Samoa and now it's been sacked but illegally so they've got an advantage here Samoa Mataval throws it out of the midfield they'll come back for the scrum or for penalty actually no advantage two thank you they look like they're in a bit of a hurry to go wide Samoa aren't they collapsing number eight well decision here sack, it's got to be immediate. scrum or line out and it's probably far enough infield to consider the scrum. Give, there's a fair bit of blindside scrum. here to use. Scrum, guys. And that's Luke. certainly the call. Captain Lamb. As I say, here's the line out they got going, and it's moved off the line here, and you can see number eight, Jeff Lepart, just pulling it down. Hold that balance. Hold the balance. All right. We've got to look out for in this situation. Tofatu Solia, he is explosive in the number eight jersey for Sam So if he's able to get a good platform to launch off, look out. Set. Hold. It's gone a little bit to the left, but they're going to get another advantage. The Heartland 15 were offside. Came up too quickly, and so now Samoa have got a real opportunity just to try something it's in the build up here. Matu in at half back. A couple of meters. They go a little wider to Teofilo Paolo. Great defense coming in from the Heartland 15, but now they look to go a little wider. Sertini gets it out to Nano Williams. Beautiful ball to Tuala. Asi Tuala goes in at the corner. And Samoa again take the lead.
<laughs> oh, warm applause. And why Dead wouldn't you? To Alan, the try scorer, but, but how about the pass? And they were under advantage, Samoa. And here from the breakdown, just look to shift and look at the defence. Willie drifting sideways. Tuala, he's coming direct. The pass had to be what pinpoint accurate and exactly what it was. And then the straight running runner easily beats the drifting defence. Samoa pick up their second try. Pano Jr. Sertini, 25 year old out of the Bordeaux club in France. And it was the experience of Nano Williams to Arsi Tuala. Difficult conversion. Nice finish, KT. Yeah, it was actually Tim Nano Williams bouncing out on this pass right here that gets him on the outside size of the situation just holds him a bit and then the face ball in front because i've drifted with that out absolutely brilliant timing on the pass brilliant on the bout to Walla straight through that sun is really in the faces of the Samoan players you can see them shielding the sun from the kickoff it's a nice long kickoff and to feed out the left winger with the Samoan sidestep straight over the top Not all the way. Got to make an effort. Three black roll out. 32 year old Scott Cameron out of the Hotafanua Kapiti province. Cap number seven. Huh? He's a log truck driver and was the Heartland Player of the Year in 2017. Brett. As a log truck driver, he needs to understand he needs to roll. Okay, sure. Willie, you're encouraging people to go to the alternative commentary. <laughs> Which is available. Just press the yellow button on your remote control and you won't hear Willie Lose's bad humour. Poor humour. Poor attempt for a joke as now Sertini breaks through. Gets rid of Tofale with a nice bend. And all of a sudden, Samora 30 out. They strike back the left-hand side, Matu. He likes to run with ball in hand. La Pepe's been good in the opening 20 minutes. The first quarter of the game is gone. Sertini has started it, throwing a low worm oh. burner that Lamb couldn't catch. Chasing shadows a little bit here, the Heartland 15. Can't seem to get possession. And look at this break from Sertini. Yeah, he showed good control, good balance, good awareness too of what was happening around him. Still Tenet. And there, pass not so good, so... We'll give... Yeah, what I like about this combination though, between Sol Tenet at 10 and Tim Nano Williams, you've got playmakers both sides. We've already seen it with Bowden Barrett and Richie Mwanga with the Samoans, got equally just as good a playmaker left and right. No, guys, I think e we're just equally slipping equally good. some bad habits here, okay? We're just getting a little bit too it's much going going not right. too bad at the, the moment, Todd. really good. We both had balance. <laughs> now we're just getting a bit lazy, all right? Just, just ask him. Bill Curtin there, former All Black coach. Right, yeah, he was our Colts coach a million years ago. Show he loved that balance. word, gas. Platform, Got to have gas, he says. In his favourite spot too. Coach. Willie standing in the back of the goal line, looking straight Boy. down the paddock. Set, hold. Much better. Leper gives it out the back to the try scorer right. Kicks to try and get it over Fidel's head, and he's bounced that perfectly. Oh, it's a great kick. Samoa, yeah, they'll go quick. Of course they will. No, no, Williams gives it to Fidel now. Into the hand. Arcee, he's played a bit of fullback, but he hasn't found touch. Wright has got it. Gives it to Lash. They've got a chance. Their arm here, the Heartland 15. No point kicking the ball away and giving Samoa more possession. 
Out to the left, they go wide pass from Claire. It's a bit of a hospital. 1-1-1, one, 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 that call. So Tenney gets up and makes the tackle. Claire will leave this for the regular halfback and right. Now the forwards get involved in Lepa. Lost now. Some running ball, lash dummies, and then through the ball. It was the right no. intention. was going to line the ground. Nano the Williams will look to try and return with a little bit of interest. Leave it down. Quickly, they were there, but they've got to give away a penalty. You're, in, you're not supporting Claire your body weight. Clear thought he had all rights you're to right the ball. Over. And the referee said, you're not supporting your own body weight. It's a penalty. You've got to be in a position to lift. Oh, a couple of players face. taking some punishment through those phases. Uh, firstly, it was yeah, we can 15 play. lock. Josh Clark, he's hobbling around. Like a broken down racehorse and over the far side, KT. Just a bit of claret to be dealt with. Yeah, so Tenny it is just down on his haunches after he did that big hit. Todd, very experienced guy, two CP seat. Ready to go. This might be a blood bin if anything it does come off. It's been good though, start of this game, so Tenny, but very, very good at the line. His passing for the majority been very good. Kicking's been okay as well. This is the old yours pass to Paiua. You'd have been throwing a few of those in your career, KT. Yeah, I wouldn't have caught it though. Well, that's the difference. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> You're going to form a wallaby, Chris Latham. That's an expensive water boy. Right, getting the ankle strapped up, ankle strapping around the boot. So Tenny's still getting attended to. Heartland will roll through the stats. Oh, Handling errors is only two at one apiece. Two in total. Turnovers conceded. Samoa up on that stake. But this is the key. Samoa dominant possession, dominant territory. Well, he doesn't want to come off. That's the thing. Is that he's saying just put some Vaseline or anything, whatever you need to do just to stop it from bleeding. And he does not want to leave the field. Okay. That's a little he's, butterfly. He's just been asked he's to come to the sideline. Yeah, I, that, and that's when I looked that's at that heavy. replay, Willie, I thought that might be the case. Because yeah. the contact was heavy and high, so they'll get him to the sideline and allow him to get fixed up as well. And he can run the HIA test as well. Yeah, that's reason he's coming off, but not so much for the, the injury. It's the HIA assessment he's got to go through. And there we see Tusi PC on a jersey 22, the former Harbour man. Yeah, now playing up in Japan, so he'd be a great asset for them for the World Cup. The 37 year old uh, playing yeah, for the so Toyota so Shuttles. This whole guy's just whoa, 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 the team in the Japanese whoa. league. Okay. There's so much boys. experience on those shoulders. Matu. That yeah, didn't look too straight. So what do you do, KT? The Heartland 15, they're struggling with territory uh, and possession. Away, Surely they chance their arm. Oh, yeah, no, I think they have scrum to. Wally. Yep, here we are. But being saying that with their kicks have been very good with the sun's been out. It's really troubled the back three. Samoa put them under pressure. But I think on this occasion, you try and get your centres involved uh, look, with Holani or up by Barney yeah, Valu who haven't seen no, no, much with ball in hand. Just give him a nudge, get some go for yeah. ball and get some quick ball because they look dangerous when they do. Oh, especially when Lash gets it in hand with a bit of space in front. There he is. Most conversions, 32 and 2016 for Buller. Most points over 500 points, 147 in a season. He really is a threat. They've had very little ball, and now the pressure comes on. No, and the Samoans nice. with a turnover. Tight head. Don't see that too often in the game. The best pass now out to Leua. He's got Nano Williams to the right. Nano Williams. One more pass. Tuana gets a double. Oh, that's Samoa. At their very, very best. Tuala again the finisher, but so much good work done in the lead up to this. Firstly, 
the scrum, obviously, Willie. Look at that, just walk over the top of the ball, sitting in the middle of the scrum, and away they go. The ball gets into the hands. Good pass from PC. And Leua shows his strength and then his pace. Finds Nanai Williams clear. Brings him down, but Nanai Williams finds Rasi Tuala. And the Samoans running a beauty. Yeah, just those passes in front was the one. There was the right footstep from Alapati Leua. The timing of this, look, it's looking for players. Sets it up, yet returns in the defender. Nanai Williams, with all the experience, knows he's not going to make it. And then on the money is that last one. The experience they talk about in big games and it was the 33 year old to the 30 year old to the 30 year old and it was this man here with his first touch look at that age 37 just comes onto the field first pass of the ball and kt the miss two found its target that's it you spoke about it willie the experience to be able to handle that situation just knowing what to do when they get that type of ball to see pc they're doing it for a long time Successful with the conversion, but three tries to Manu Samoa. Ala Ala Toi and now to Ala picking up the double. That's a great footwork from Pate Leua to create the space and <laughs> casual finish from to Ala. go in the book Steve Jackson the coach will he for half time that work on it'll be restarts a couple of them have been untidy on that occasion just no one calling for the ball will be that it's just rolled out of touch and they will get the throw to the line but in an area, oh, one area that they haven't been quite complete in at this point Samoa line out's working well with that man love Pepe in that position they give it to Lelo and now PC quick hands it's gone forward to Nanai Williams certainly had some numbers there. Four pass. Four. How exciting to watch, aren't they, Samoa, when they're in this type of mood? Yeah, good movement off the over ball here, inside. Boys, boys, two over here. For Samoa, that forced the Heartland defence to make a decision, and that's that hesitation that created the opportunity out wide. That they were thought that the defence was closer than they really were, so decided to push the pass, didn't work. Well, for the Heartland 15, Willie Payawa, the left winger, wearing jersey number 11, he's the man that read it and came in for the big hit. Four tries he scored for the Highland, the Heartland 15, rather, in his career's sixth cap. Set, hold! They really need to give him some possession, he's such a threat. Better scrum from the Heartland 15. Lepper gives it to right who gives it to lash takes it to the line james lash through a couple of tackles quick ball right and given to nano williams he passed it off to salia look at the pace of the number eight basket blows it over the top lafay tonight gets back no, to not. save the day oh, now william right out of the South Canterbury area, will clear things here to Lash. And we'll just kick it out into touch. Great pace from Solia. Yeah, great pace from Solia. Had Ed Fido quite literally. For me, KT on his shoulder. Maybe Fido could have given him a bit of space and the opportunity to pass to him. But how about the breakout? Oh, Fatu, you talked about him off the base of the scrum. Well, this is him, an open player. It's impressive. And there you see Fidel just gets a bit, for me, too close there. He's going to wait, he's going to wait to throw Well, normally when he's in that position, this guy will finish it from deep. But you've got to say, or make mention of Lucky Tua Knight, the chase back from him for the Heartland 15, getting in that pass, and it was absolutely brilliant. Again, it's now Tripoli with another win in the line out. You can see. Matavel whacking the rump. Oh, the big forwards in front of him. Ala Toa. They're going to get a penalty here. Collapsing it from the Heartland 15. And so Lilo into the contact. Gives it back to Leoa. He offloads. To Tyrrell. 
Lay. Jordan Lay. The younger of the two brothers. In fact, he's the older. He's the 26-year-old. His younger brother on the bench. Milani Matavao to PC. Steps. Offloads. Leyua. Went to beat. And the offload to Fidel has gone forward. Now Lash looking for the counter-attack. Advantage Advantages over. And so they've kicked possession away and they've found touch. Samoa with Alapati Leua. Well, again, Tusi PC showed his experience, his goal, and his ability to play the offload game. Creating all sorts of havoc for and challenges for the Heartland 15. Big step, and now about the offload. What about the defence? Right here, last line of defence. And Harry Lafatui Knight. Great occasion if you're in the Auckland region, no better place to be. Here, Manu Samoa ate up from the break. Not too much on, and so Matavao puts it to the foot, Clark takes it and gets Matu at the same time. Bobble ball from Kori Tamana. Change of angles, and it's always difficult when you've only been in camp for five days to try and get those combinations. Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, uh, these guys were played Heartland Rugby last weekend. Come out of that environment, get pulled together, come up with new moves, new calls, and put it all together for 80 minutes of rugby. Samoa played the Pacific Nations Cup. And now look at that, he had so much space that not the vault. Fair enough too. All over it in the position to lift. Scotty Cameron. Holding on. Doing a good job. Over the ball there for the Heartland 15. Yeah, the 32 year old out of the heart of Horofanua Kapiti region. Waikanae Rugby Club is where that man spends a fair bit of time and he's earned his team a penalty here of getting around, going, coming through the gates. Stand on his feet. And all sorts of duress too. Wins a penalty. Great job, Scott Cameron. Kuroi Tamana. Really heavily strapped, left knee just looks like it's taken a bit of a whack. The forklift driver out of Mid Canterbury, he's played 50 caps. Mid Canterbury, and he's going to battle on here for the Hartland 15 side. Yeah, we're just going to see this young man pass his HIA. So he's going to come on and replace Tusi PC. He's trying to look the other way. Well, he's seen what Tusi PC's done over the last five minutes too, KT. He wants to get back out there. Yeah. Great to have that experience though with Tusi behind him, no doubt. I'm sure he's learning every single day, so Tini. Well, no doubt we'll see him before the end of this one. Tusi PC, but a lovely little cameo there. No doubt about that. Clark gets high for the Heartland 15. Here is Paiola. Straight through the first line of defence. Throws the ball up. It's gone forward. Lamb is there, the Samoan captain. Forward. Yeah. It's just a knock on was a real threat against any team from that left-hand side. Is it back to Nuno Williams with the right foot? Has he found touch? Yes. Looks good. Nice break from the left winger. Yeah, great break. Okay, blue on the line. Well, they all drifted yep. off the. Well, they drifted off the pass initially, and that created the opportunity for Paua. A little bit of a lack of discipline in the end, just tossing it up, hoping someone was there. Lash loops around, but it's taken into the contact by Holani. Haven't seen too much of Sioni. Polani out of the west coast. Backwards. Lash takes it backwards and now 
spins around and changes the course of attack almost through the gap pops it up for Telfari he gets it out to the right winger and Luffy to a night right with the kick fair enough knew that they had the penalty yeah fair enough mate just Interesting up. decision here for Hartland. Do you take the points? Or do you go to the corner? If you get, get the three, you're only five behind. Okay. Yeah, two. Yeah. Just work a bit harder. I think they're going to go for the line out here, KT. Line. Yeah, Roggie. Yeah. Line out's working well for them too, so if they can bring it down here and ask a few questions. That's a good footballer. James Lash. Good contest, actually, the two tens, isn't it, Willie? Both very good playmakers. I'll tell you the one thing that James Lash has over Ulupano Sultani is the ability of white bait. Okay, an age. <laughs> They've won it. Through Josh Clark, 32 year old, gets nice and high, and now Lepa says, Give me the ball at the back of it. Still under control here, he breaks off, finds a half gap. Nice and strong from the number eight. Right to Lash, to the line, holds it up. Lovely ball from James Lash. And Sione Polani goes in to score. They rolled the dice instead of taking the three. They wanted five, and they have responded. Oh, not only can he white bait, throws a pretty good short ball too. James Lash, this is magic. Had big numbers out to the left, so the Samoan defence were conscious of that. And so the half pie drifting off created the big hole. Lash sees it and has the ability and the wherewithal to pull the pass and just look at this, pop it up. Great ball, Holani, untouched. mentioned his name the man out of the Wanderers club in the West Coast beautiful line KT it was beautiful in yeah, timing as well we just defensively saw more just getting caught out there Sertini returns the field and now it's Clark who goes up high and brings it down this will give them some confidence the Heartland 15 they've had very little possession just 35 percent of it in the opening 38 minutes as they get it back and here goes Campbell Hart he's out of Wanganui captain of Wanganui they've got about four captains on this player. Heartland 15 side back to Lash Mataval takes it shows a lot of courage the young halfback 23 year old out of Samoa Nanai Williams goes to Tuwale he gives it the two, and that's a nice pass back into Lelo. Been involved in everything is Ray Lelo. Out of the card of Blues. It's a real. Almost the intercept, but they've lost it forward. Lau Pepe couldn't hold on to it. Now he picks up and slams Josh Clark, WWF style, into the turf. No. It was not. No. Are you allowed to do that? Hey, look, I was a I WWE. Was Sorry, okay. I'm showing my age. Was Used to be called on the map when I was growing up. Oh, don't get me started. Hey, King hey, Curtis. <laughs> Samoan Joe. Let's go. What's that, man? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. He works hard yeah, when he's carrying the ball. Raymond Lelaw. Almost an intercept from the Heartland 15 captain. Uh, he would have backed himself too, and there it is. Oh, and the body slam too. Crouch! Boyd! Set! Hold! Great opening. 40 minutes and a good crowd. 
and made their way into Eden Park. That's the first of the double header. Tonga and Fiji still to come as the Heartland 15 get the ball out to Luffy two and eight. Runs into a couple of shoulders, but he holds on to the ball, stays strong, does the right wing up. There was up, there was never a tackle. We will scrum it. Siren sounds, but yeah, referee we says we will play the scrum. Blew the whistle before the hooter. Scrum down. Jeez, I like the look of this. Lafayette two and I. He's quite a tall winger, KT. No, he is. He is. Poor winger, isn't he? But he's already saved 14 points getting back in defence. He's already shown attack wise. Got some good footwork as well. Had a good first 40 minutes, young man. 26 year old Gasper out of Thames Valley. Crouch! Boyne! Set! Samoa oh. probably happy just to go to the break with the one point lead here. Or was the mindset to try and score more points? Yeah, that was out. Solia flicks it up to right. And the mindset is to run through level. Fine. Great timing coming in as Matava went to pick up the ball and maybe the Heartland 15 will have the last say of the half. It's cleared from Holani out to the left. Lash, nice footwork from James Lash. Not held and so he's got all rights to go again. Right gets it up to Kori Tamana. Yeah, a little knock nice on there, forward there and that'll end the half. Half time. 40 minutes gone, five tries scored and it is the visitors Samoa leading the Heartland 15 into the break. Samoa 15, Heartland 15, 14. A fantastic occasion here at Eden Park where some of the visitors leading Heartland by just the one point. Let's get some reaction, firstly, from the assistant coach of Samoa, Chris Latham. He's with Carlton Anna. Well, coach, 15 14 up, but I'm sure some stern words are said at halftime. Oh, yes and no. I mean, we're, we're, we're trying a lot of things and uh, we're playing a few things that we knew that uh, we could come a little bit unstuck with at times, and, and they're a quality team. You know, that we, we can't, we're not denying that. Uh, we've just got to make sure now, come second half, we're a lot more clinical in what we do. But again, happy so far, but um, yeah, there's always a lot of things we can work on and do better. But overall, we know what we need to do in the second half. Right, defensively got broken a couple of times. You've spoken about that, fixing it up? Yeah, I think we've just got to get off the line and be square. Um, at the moment, we're too tentative. Come, we're getting good line speed, but we're going across field too early. So again, they're little things that we just need to make sure that we fix up. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Well, Coach, they got out to a fast start, but you must have been pretty happy your way your boys settled into the game and got back into it. Yeah, they did, you know, and it was just about us buying time and, and settling down into our processes and systems, and uh, we went into our work then, and so it was good to see the boys respond. A couple of nice kicks into the sun. Was that a tactic in their first half? Yeah, it was. Look, we wanted to turn them around in some areas and, and see how they go and then put some kick chase so we can contest on it, so it's worked out all right. What have you got to do better to get the win in the second 40? Oh, look, we just got to hang on to the ball and, and not give away some silly passes and, and put some more pressure on them. We're here to play. Looking forward to it. Good luck, eh? Thank you. Terrific to get the reaction from both assistant coaches. And as you can see, a change made for the Heartland side at halfback. On comes Horrocks. Lindsay Horrock, the 29-year-old out of Whanganui. The farmer has been brought on. and Same starting eight for the Samoan team. A couple of changes in the backs. There. Yep. Malo Lua and PC are on, and we're underway. Love Pepe takes it from the kickoff, and so immediately Richard Turner, they've worked out that problem and solved it. That's right. It's a quick solution. Let's see if it works for them. Lamb with the carry, and now Malo Lua. High in the air, asking questions of Lepa. The number 80 gets it back to Lafay to a night. The counter ruck is good for Malala Torre. He's gone straight over the top. But they regrouped to the New Zealand Heartland 15. And Horrocks with his first touch of the ball. Gets it out to the concrete mixers and cuts. Penalty got isolated. Laupepe 
There's the man that's been involved in everything this afternoon. What a game he's having. Yeah, good encouragement too. Oh, Pepe on the inside ball and oh, that's... Take your time again, you probably wouldn't do that, will he? Well, if you knew, oh, other other one was if you knew what numbers it were. Well, the Heartland 15 now looking into the sun. It's just setting out towards the west. But on the left hand side of your screen, and so now the first throw of the second half in the line out. Clearly one in the hands of Matu. Now you can see Malo Lua, a little halfback, barking out the orders is here on debut for the Samoa team as they look to go down Queen Street. Samoa charging forward, over they go. Beautiful body positions. Put it down to one to eight. All of them could have scored there. It might be La Pepe. Well, I think they gave it up. It was the two big guys. Lau Pepe and Paolo that were in there, so I think you feel like Paolo has said it's yours. Kane Lau Pepe, look, they take it down, they get a good way on here. And Lau Pepe there gets the ball in his hands and Paolo joins the back of it there. <laughs> he knows this is a try to be scored. He's got his, he's got his right hand on the ball and he went, oh no. Give it to you, Kane. Well, KT, that's the dream start and just what Chris Latham would have wanted. 100%, Willie. You can obviously see that's something they come into this game with as a plan, is the rolling wall. At three or four in the first half, they didn't go to plan, but that one obviously did. Finally, their first conversion of the four tries. to a PC. Steve Jackson mentioned throughout the week that they were going to try things in the first half and different things in the second as a build-up to that test against Australia. And 26-year-old Kane Laupepe, he is playing like a veteran. Now it's all in front of the Hartland 15 as they kick deep. Beautifully taken up in the air by Josh Tyrrell. Now playing in France, PC. Crossfield kick, trying to get it out to where Lash is, and now James Lash in between two defenders, and now it's picked up. Nambayan Valu. Lash gives it straight to Clark, who was standing there from the standing start. Now it's Horrocks. Horrocks to the line. Now the pass out to Payua. He's good, this young man. Payua breaks out. Try time. It's a try fest at Eden Park. Oh, isn't it? This is the tit for tat. Anything you can do, we can do better. And the Heartland 15 strike back. And how impressive is this, Willie? Paiwa, the try scorer. And the replacement players have an immediate impact. Horrex drifted off the breakdown, then found a runner. And then that created, well, it wasn't much of an opportunity, but it was somewhat. And Paiwa, look at this. Beats the tackle, stays strong, balanced. Not clear. And the finish. His fifth try in the Heartlands jersey. Good goal kicker as well. Look at that, 100%. From out wide, James Lash! That's the post. They will be celebrating at the Levin College Old Boys Club in Hotafanua Kapiti because that's where he flies his trade. They've got to get him more ball, KT. Just a change for Hartland. On in Jersey 20, Timothy Sedewalu is replaced. Oh, he's making a stay, he's replaced. Penny Nambani Valu. Another player out of the Hotafanua Kapiti is Seruwalu, but this is Lepa out of Bulla. 
Three points. The difference is now they looked a chance their arm. Quick hands. Clear is there. Gives it to Luffy to a night. Pick and go. Call it to Mana. Isolated. Now they slow it down. Horrocks made a difference since he's come on the field. Throws a wide pass into the midfield where it's taken in and they look to recycle. Lash, chip over the top, easily taken by Tuala, the try scorer, the double try scorer. Here is Malolua. Paolo. PC. Leua, quick hands. Oh, he got belted as well, did Matu, but this is now Fidel. Fidel with the kick and chase. Great work again from Luffy Tuana. He's got back to save the day. This will be a five metre scrum. Time off. I don't know what these guys had at half time, will he? Hey, I've got no try. But yeah. it seems like everyone's got time. quicker yeah, yeah. and everyone's yeah. got more energetic. So it was, whatever it was, it was good. Yes, We're going to come mate. up and check it. But... Check. Yeah, I've got on field decision, no try. I think it's been held up by Black. Just want to see how we're going to restart play here. Referee Paul yeah. Williams say, yeah, no try. It's just. Whether or not Ed Fidel, who showed amazing pace and acceleration, put the ball to the toe, almost chased it down. So what they're deciding here is whether or not he got his hands on the ball, carried it in into the into the end goal. And if not, then they'll have a five-meter scrum. If so, they'll come back to a 22. Hi. How good is the young 26-year-old on debut from Thames? Just hold, guys, just hold Harry, just hold. Luffy, two and I. Well, there's no doubt it's no try. It's who carried it into the end goal, Willie. This is a big decision to be made here because it's either a Samoan scrum five metres out or it's a Heartland 15, 22 metre. And how, how happy it's Craig Clear. How about that shot? Have you got that skinny as well? Yeah, it looks like we're going to restart here with a scrum to blue. Looks like that's been carried back. And now Blue's in control of it there. Have you seen that, Skinny? Yeah, PE Dub, I've got a decision for you. Yep. We'll just wait until camera's back on you. Guys, just a sec. Yep. So the outcome's going to be a blue scrum. Yep. Yep. Yeah, okay, carry back. All right. No try, scrum. It's been carried back. Here we are. Thanks, Seventh match for Samoa here at Eden Park as we have a look at the finish. And he's done well again, KT, the right winger for Heartland 15. Oh, he has indeed, but this guy here, speed off the mark, and that's the trademark of this young man. Restart standards again, please. Speed out. But yeah, he's saved three tries, 15 points for sure, for the moment. Incredible. 26 years old as a gas fitter out of the White Hole Club in Thames Valley on debut. Not out of jail though, the Heartland 15, because now the squeeze comes on from Samoa. Off the back they go, big and strong, just a metre short. Solia. Malolua gets in, and now the big forwards get their hands on the ball. On the lot here, back on the last feet. Okay. Paolo goes out to the left. Advantage blue. Oh, They've got an advantage here. Have some more, so the forwards still want to keep you it in nice advantage. and tight. You still got the advantage. Now the backs. PC. I'll come back for the penalty. Nothing coming there, guys. We're going to go back. Just give them the ball. Offside on the far side of the breakdown. Offside. Push back, guys. Well, they're under pressure here. Scrum. Hartley and 15, yep. but doing a very Scrum. good job Blue. for mine. Defensively. Showed some good intent in the contact. Yep. Good effort here at scrum time. 
Well, the previous one, they'll need another one, a repeat of that here. There's no doubt about it. This is Samoan scrum. It feels like they're gaining the ascendancy here. Coach! Boy! Shit! Advantage. Running ball. Advantage. And now they give it out to Black the Black white Black pass. Black. It's been intercepted. Lash was there. The pass from PC. Looking to try and give Tuala a hat trick. Oh, scrum again. One. Yeah, they will because I'm picking someone goes. And the Heartland scrum. Yeah, they, they bring it down up. again. So Jack, Jack Lamb just doing, asking Jack? the question, just re reaffirming that stance. We can't have too many more, eh? Otherwise, someone might leave. Okay, just a warning. Uh, over here, referee guys. Williams on this occasion. Come on. Stay in the fight. Oh. Waiting for the Red Army to arrive, the supporters of Tonga to turn up. I imagine the motorway from South and West Auckland will be packed at the moment. They make their way here. Best supporters in the world. And the Tongans with the Samoans. No penalty there. They run lateral. Malo Louis put it along the ground. Paiwa's picked it up. And he's knocked it on, though. Well, they're trying things, KT, but it's not coming off for the Samoans. Yeah, and I've already spoken about that. Chris okay. Latham and Steve Jackson using those wide passes, but equally defensively, these guys are making very good reads at Heartland 50, yep. forcing those long passes. And when you do that, it allows the defence time to get up yep. and make the tackle. So well Eight done blue. to the Heartland 15, but not out of trouble no. yet. Got to have a good exit play. Yeah, you're Just on for oh, Samoa. On to duty 22, TJ Ioane. That's replaced into Fatu Sulia. Long point. There it is. That's up next. That this Tonga up, against Fiji. The pride of the Pacific on show. And who could forget the scenes of 2011 when the Tongan team arrived in Auckland, New Zealand? Right. Talk about the Red Army. Talk about a change in momentum. And the whole World Cup all of a sudden came alive as we look at a couple of wily old veterans there. Tabai Matson. <laughs> sure, Tabai. To be put in the same veteran category as Will Set. Curtin, but certainly some incredible rugby cerebral between those two, Willie. There's no doubt about that. Now, Lamb has gone into the back of the scrum. Malo Lua throws a dummy, then he gives the pass. Claire makes a good read on that to make the tackle, and Samoa still in possession. Out to the left they go, and here is Yoani. Immediately into the action, he's isolated. Good chance for turnover. And they have turned it over, but referee says what? Somebody's go? going to the bin. You've got to roll away. That's the reason why he got the turnover, because he didn't roll away. Wow, that's tough. Yeah. Josh Clark. Oh. Heads to the sideline for the Heartland 15. Deemed to have not rolled away. Referee Paul Williams has had enough of giving penalties to the Samoans. So he said, Heartland, you've got to pay the price. And here, deemed right. to have taken too long to roll away. Well, that's why. Do you get the turnover or seven? Yeah, well, well on that replay there, he work. wasn't on the Samoan side. I'm not sure. That's a tough call. You don't have to roll away if you're on your own side. No comment from Richard Turner. It's now Pepe wins the line out. Showing his Samoan side here. As they go on the attack through Matu. Still in control. Here's another try. Too easy. And Ola Ala Toa Kaltanana gets a double. He says, you know what, it's not all about those flash blokes in the back line getting tries. I'm going to get a couple too. Fair enough. Started off the game under duress with an injury, and he has stood up, that's for sure, on his core responsibilities, but also a note to try scorer. Are hey, you grumping with me, Willie, because I, I didn't answer you before? Here they go. They're doing this well at the moment, Samoa. They're driving more. Took a little while to get themselves organised. And then when they felt the pressure, ease from the Heartland 15, in they came. 
always under control. Michael Ala Ala Well, what a remarkable game for Ala Ala Seemingly down and out within the first 30 seconds of this one. Willie, when he got us, we well, got bent back over his knee, got it strapped up, and just showing how tough he is. He soldiered on, and he's picked himself up. Picked himself up two tries, and the conversions are beauty. 29-19, they extend that lead by 10. And not a bad debut for the man out of the Crusaders franchise. And it's going to be a whole change in the front row for the Heartland 15. Carmichael, Tofare, and Cameron are gone, the starters. And then in to replace them, 16, McIntyre, 17, Darlene, and 18, Mele Kolenisau. Plenty of experience in that replacement. Front row of Kolenisau, Darling and McIntyre as well. Ralph Darling, 101 caps for North Otago. Bit of a character actually bringing him on. The other day he said that he was, he's got three different jobs that he told the liaison officer, which is quite interesting. Yoani gets the kick off. And they look to clear it immediately. The three jobs are interesting, or the fact that he's got three jobs is interesting? Well, you're a bit of both actually. <laughs> Uh, the first day they went uh, to the media thing, he said that he's a freezing worker. Then he said he's a drain layup. And yesterday when they had a, tele a radio Same interview, he said he's a stay-at-home dad. Take your pick. I'll come back to it. Slapped back to Lash. That's a nice run from the replacement. And Setawalu, Setawalu throws the dummy, then the miracle pass. La Pepe picks it up. He now carries it over the 10 metre line in their own half, and now Malolua with a nice kick. Nobody's there. Tuala couldn't get the bounce. How much space were there? Great read. Oh, it just needed to sit up, had a little bit too much weight on it, bounced on the bottom end and rolled into touch. McIntyre out of Thames Valley with his first throw of the game. Third cap for the Hartland 15, Lau Pepe gives it to his half, who clears it to PC, skip pass to Lelo. Nice read from Lelo. Set a Walu. You're on the oh, ground. How about his impact? Tackle. 12 was on the ground. Set a Walu. 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 Just assesses his option. He could heads up play. Sees the defence going wide, so puts a step on and then intercepted by Shedawalu. We just got something. A couple of changes here for the Heartland. On in 20, Aaron Mertz replacing Kuroi Tamana and also in 23, the debut for Kalani Bini. Lia Tingnanga is replacing Jersey Fording. Lafay two at night. He's been outstanding. Certainly has been. McIntyre again gets the call and it's short. And Batu couldn't pick it up. Coming through to put pressure on was Darling. PC. Leo Lok. Nano Williams. The grubber kick. Well, you won't miss this guy with those lovely blocks are here, and he's put it straight in the air. Leo Tinganga on debut in South Canterbury. Gets up and makes the tackle on PC. Let it go. Nine tries in 2018 for South Canterbury. And a couple of wobbly ones at line-out time for the Heartland 15, so Glenn McIntyre. 
He needs to just take his time, get the call right, get the execution bang on. Goes to the back of the line out and Colini out, tidies it up. Horrocks. Backwards. Backwards. Release now, Blue. McIntyre carries. Kick over the top. No chases from the Heartland 15. And now feed out. Gets a chance to build up. Gets through the tackle from Clear. That was high. Frustration. There he is. Craig Clear, the 35 year old, 260 points for Whanganui. Five caps for the Highlanders in 2007. Experience at first class level as the Heartland 15 fullback there. You just see the lazy arm, just player changes direction. And it's just a reaction more than anything. And it's almost an instinct, isn't it, Willie? When you're in a defensive situation, player changes direction on you. Nice experience at first class level represented Otago, Manawatu, by a plenty. Super rugby as well. For the Highlanders. Still rolling in here at Eden Park, aren't they, Willie? It's been entertaining. Game number one, and expect game number two, Fiji Tonga, to be no different. Exactly. Great crowd for the double header here in the Pacific Challenge. The road to Japan. So they loop around Yuwani, and then Malo Lua goes straight through. Lovely tackle coming in on him. I think that was Sedawalu again, the man out of Horofanua Kapiti. Here he is. He's a beekeeper by trade. That was sweet. Take well, he stung him there, Willie, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Brought a real buzz around him because he's been on. Just remind our viewers that there is an alternative commentary available. And there's Father's Day tomorrow as well. Press the yellow button, you'll hear it in Samoan. And there is Father's Day tomorrow as well, so happy Father's Day to all the dads for tomorrow. Horrocks feeds and runs right. Gets over the game line. He's got clear next to him, and now the kick. Was along the ground and eventually finds its way up towards 11, the halfway. 11. We got it. We got it. Subs blue. One and three. Yeah, there we can see, boys. A couple of changes for Money Samoan on Jersey 17 is Alo Emile. He's replacing Michael Ala Ala Tor, the dual try scorer. And also 18 James Blake. Good day in the office for those two, Jordan Lay and Ala Ala Top. McIntyre gets that one right. Harris being in everything. Matu tries to steal it around the corner, then gets cleaned out legitimately. Good strong run from Colin South. 128 Ks. Impact from the bench with McIntyre as well. Horrocks gets it back to Darling. Yeah. Off feet. Horrocks will tap. Get on with the game, trying to pick up the pace here. Gets it back to Lash. No other option for the first five, but to put it there, Leper. Now to Colini Sao. Nice collision with him and Yuani. Remember, the Heartlands 15 down to 14 players with Josh Clark in the bin. Hold there. Samoa scored a try in that time. 
back to Nano Williams and then the dummy in the hold from Malolua, the kick. Sedewalu beats the first tackle, draws them three defenders. Horrocks to Lash, trying to kick it over the head of Tuala, but he's taken it on the fill and he'll bring it back with a little bit of interest. Steps off the right and fends with the left, pass over the top to Leua. Game really starting to open up now yeah, good with job. these two teams. They've got good shape and good numbers out to the left of Samoa. PC out to Lau Pepe. More running ball to the left. PC. This time he drops it off to the captain, That's Lamb. Good. He gives it to Terrell. Had Nunai Williams on the left-hand side, opted to go to the right. They've got numbers here, Samoa. Quick hands from PC. Out to Fidel. Stays out of touch. Great oh, play from the left oh, winger. Marlo Lua gets there. Nano Williams. Hello, hello. Tackle from Darling. I know. Don't need that from you, 21. Now the new players. And Lay gets it back. Lelo. Hands away! Slow ball, though. Back to the left they go. PC gives it to Lamb. Lamb runs into Paiawa. Nice contact, and they go to the left. PC, kick it on the ground, feet up! Can't get there. A couple of fans giving him some Well, advice. I think they were probably saying should have got oh, there. No, no, coming back, sorry. A bit heavy on the weight from the stab through. Great option. Very good option. Here's the plate from PC to Lamb. How about the inside ball from Lamb? Oshitura all there, they recycle's good, they shift left. PC. Oh, look, he, he knows he's put a little bit too much on it. Well, the yellow card's over for the Heartland 15, so uh, Josh Clark's not coming back. He's been replaced by James Goodyear. The bench is clear for the Heartland. OK. Time back on. Great occasion for... The Heartland 15. You can see there's the new man wanting to get involved straight away. Good job, but they've kicked it down to one of the great, defeat, great attackers, rather, with ball in hand. Leora runs straight into Craig Clear. Only one winner in that contest. Lua, PC. Out the back to Nanai Williams. Across he goes to feed out. He'll step off the left. Payua tried to take him into touch. Done really well to stay in play. Oh, it's too, too messy, too many bodies on the ground. Bodies from black and blue. We'll scrum here, blue. Okay. No, no, Williams. 13 blue. So worse for wear. How tough is this bloke, Willie? Ali Pati, Leua, boom, didn't shirk, showed him the shoulder too. Credit, got straight to his feet, bounced back into position, and there's Williams just takes a late shot. Right out there, oh, gets himself involved and hurts himself. Yeah, there's Leo, he's he's finished running over the top of people, and he's been replaced in Jersey 23 by Henry Typhon. Typhon out of the Western Force, the 26 year old here for Samoa. Gets the last 16 minutes of the game. They've been thrilled and entertained. It's a hearty, hearty crowd. And there you can see them all in dance. Three tries in the first half to Samoa, two in the second. And for Heartland 15, there were two in the first. And then one in the second. They lead by 10, Samoa. And a good attacking opportunity here. 30 out from the Heartland 15 line. Lamb moves into the number eight position. Looking for the penalty. Referee showing no interest yeah, at the moment. The then the hand comes out. Lamb picks and goes. Lamb with the offload. PC. Lelo with a big wide pass to Ala. Scored two. Thought he was in for a third. Easy. We're going back. Not staying straight. Should have been in for a third. They did well to hang in there. I see Tuala. Penalty. They've come back. Not stay straight. All the way to hey, look, the far side of the field well, for the advantage. Penalty eight, advantage. Yeah. 
Great occasion. Nice to be here, isn't it, Willie? Kiwi Bank Pacifica Challenge 2. Samoa, Tonga, Fiji on their way to Rugby World Cup 2019. And our national representatives, the Heartland 15, and doing a very good job too. They are against a very good side. Side full of professionals. A side full of part-timers. Samoa looking for a win after two losses against America and Fiji in Suva. Paolo gets up and brings it down. They've scored two tries through the rolling mall, and now it's in the hands of Matu in the back of the mall. They go straight down. You can see Paolo telling them to come forward. Malo Lua gets it, throws the ball over the top. Paua. Intercepts and taken out of play, diffuses the situation for the moment. Uh, he's been good for me, KT. Willie Paiua got involved in every on every occasion. In fact, both wingers, starting wingers, have intercepted the ball on a number of occasions. There's the other starting winger, Luffy Tua Knight. And another chance for Marisamo on a jersey 16 is Afa Aono replacing Mutu Matu. There is the Samoan Prime Minister. Great to have him here, and it was terrific to be in Samoa for the Pacific Nations Games in June of this year. 26 different sports, 22 countries from the Pacific. A celebration of Pacific Games as Horrocks now looks to clear it from inside his own 22. Great build up this pod for the World Cup for these Samoan Tongan and Fijian players as Pete out steps and the Samoan team will be named at the conclusion of this match as well. Steve Jackson has told the players who are going and who aren't, and they're all out looking for a boarding pass to Tokyo, Japan. Tyrrell, now Pepe. Well, they may have told him, mate, you need to show me what you got because he's Stay been yeah, in great job. form in this match. PC to the line. Malo Lua to Lamb. Easy. Stepping. Hello, Emile. Hold on, leave it. If you want, leave it four, 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 four. Yeah, That's Lay, in fact. James Lay got isolated. So much energy in this game. Right from the get go, we're in the 69th minute now. And none of it seemed to have waned. And in a great contest, a very good spectacle. Here's the replacement player, James Lay, on the carry. The opposite side. Horrocks doing a great job at the breakdown. McIntyre finds the new man. Kajira now. Setawalu. Fijian. Goes immediately into the contact and now lash the kick over the top. How's the bounce? Perfect! Leo Tingola! How much pace has he got? Not enough to get there! Great read from Fidel to get across from the left wing. Still on the side of Harlan 15. Into play halfback. Goes Holani. Lash loops around. Darling goes around the corner. Does the loose head prop. Pick into the left clear. Into Lea Tinganga. Samoa. Turnover. Tuala plays half. So is that counter. No, no hands. It's a ruck, feet only. Hold there. Samoa now through the forwards. Go across the field. Yawani charges in. Patience Black, hold there. Malo Lua will get it back to PC. No. 
Yep. Back to kicks on his own off the left boot. And that's a nice run to start it from Leah Tinganga. Man on debut out of South Canterbury. You can see why he scored nine tries in 2018. Yep, perfect. Look at the bounce. Sits up, changes direction, gets it in his hands. Horrocks tries it into the midfield. Sedewalu couldn't take it. It was way too high. I oh, would have set us up for the grandstand finish. That's the end and I'm out of God. Six blue. Sub. The whole way. Six blue. Sub. Let's go, guys. In the last sub for the Money Samoa, Logo Viti Mulipola, Jersey 19, replacing Josh Tyrell and Jersey 6. They've all played their part here today. From 1 to 23. Let's go, 21. We're waiting on you. Crouch! Now it's all about how much petrol's in the tank. Five. Five tries to three, Samoa. Set! Hold! The final eight minutes of this game. No! Off the back they go, Malolua. The skip pass out to Tuala. Scored two. He's got Nano Williams on the inside. The intercept. Couldn't catch it. Is this a yellow card? Just a penalty. No. James Lash. He no, might be going to the bin. You knew what was on. You knew what was oh, at risk. It, Listen, you knew what was at risk, but you didn't get it. So risk and reward, KT. He's gone. No. Yeah, these players know. You can see it on his face. You have to catch yeah, it. If you're going to put your hands up and stop their play, James Lash been fantastic today, like regardless of this yellow card. But amongst everything, he plays with a smile. You've got to enjoy it. Been one of their standout players. Out of the Buller region, he's a sales rep. He'll be back in the car, making calls on Monday morning, and this is it. Oh, he was dead right, he wasn't far away, was he? James Lash, but given the fact that now lost for me, Willie, probably the best on show for the Heartland 15 this afternoon. It's the likelihood of a Heartland comeback, probably that little more remote. Ball eventually ends up in the big frame of Mulipola and Ioani. And there is Ioani, TJ Ioani. That's Tyler James Ioani. Blue's taking that down. It's on the ground, and so now the forwards will just have to try and work something in close. The reason says. why that went down is because you tripped over your own man on the ground. There you go, you can hear the explanation. Let's go. Scrum down, Black. It's Black Ball, yep. Guys, I know you're a big pack, but you've got to hit and hold, okay? Don't, can't go, keep going. Great day to celebrate the Pacific here in Tamaki Makoto. Crouch! The biggest Boy. Polynesian city in the world is Auckland. And the Heartland 15 who got together on Monday have given them a real test as Sedawalu comes in close to where the big boys are. It's the shoulder of Paolo. Okay, blue. Rung up the captain. Yep. And he's tried as best he could, and now Clear has to kick the ball as James Lash is in the bin. That's a great clearance from Craig Clear, so the Heartland team will be forced to defend again inside their 22. Someone just have a little conference, okay, decide what they're right. going to do, make okay. sure they've all got the call down pat, and they'll pass it on to Rafael who gets to throw it in, and get an opportunity here, have another go at the try line here, Samoa. Lau Pepe is beaten in the front of the line out by the captain of the Heartland 15, Brett Runger. No. Horrocks will clear it. 
Hartley 15 have done it tough for 20 minutes of this game. They've been down to just 14 players. They lost Clark and now they've lost their first five. And so Craig Clear comes up just to give them a little bit of territory. Invaluable though for Steve Jackson and Chris Latham. Pod, when you think about it, heading into a Rugby World Cup, you can't you can't pay for something like this. Well, no, just game time, Willie. And they've had a good challenge from this Heartland 15, so they've asked some questions. For me, it's been a solid performance, as you alluded to, from everyone in that Samoan side. TC gets it out to Tofu. He throws a nice pass to Tuala. Little straight through. Into the red zone they go. And now Aloimi plays half back to PC. Throws a nice short ball, but contact Devana's is good from Lepper. Ball is dislodged, and now Darling will play half back. Not unfamiliar for the North Otago Centurion. Clear with the kick over the top. Craig Clear breaks through, kicks again. Who's the quickest on the field? Feed out. Yeah, he gets passed forward. Some of the players would suggest, and here goes Iono, the hooker, running like a mid three quarter. Off the foot, player. Now, Lua to PC. Now they've got some front football. Try to offload it there was Mully Pola, and he's dropped it cold. Knock on. Nah, nothing coming, boys. Took a bit of time Knock to get on, through the gears back. to get to fourth. <laughs> Yeah, well, when he went down to change to fourth, he lost control of the ball, Willie. And a great breakout, and again, Ed Fidel just displaying his pace. Yeah. Been impressive this afternoon. Oh, okay. As the left winger for Samoa. Goes down, having the stretch. It's been, you know, I said it once, I'll say it again, it's been exciting, it's been entertaining, it's been hectic, and he's... Craig Clear showing all his experience, like the acceleration when he got ball in hand that put him into a bit of space, and then he put it to the toe, and it was a foot race, and look at feet out. And he even had time to assess his options. Here's the turnover. Into contact. Oh, he's looking for the offload. Was Mully Puller. There you go. The Harlan All Blacks, geez, there's some great names in that. Justin Marshall, Carlos Spencer, Norm Hewitt, Jeff Wilson, Simon Calhane, Matthew Cooper, and Todd Blackadder. And it's terrific. Yes, some uh, have been here at Eden Park on a number of occasions. They played the All Blacks here twice in 93 and 2017. Wasn't happy in 2017, but it was 78 0 yeah. yeah. to the All Blacks. Nice They've had success here, though, against Auckland and Fiji, who they played in 2011 and in the build up of the Rugby World Cup that was so successfully held here in New Zealand on that year. Now the excitement starts to build now, as all eyes will be in Tokyo. For the ninth oh, edition of the Rugby World Cup as Horrocks puts the ball in and gets it out of there as quick as he can. Paiua, one-on-one -on -one with feet out, beats him, comes on the inside looking oh, for his forwards and gets it back. A dummy from McIntyre runs into blue. the two big locks and Polo and La Pepe now clear, quite clear, easy, changes easy the point of attack, gets it out to Runga. He's not afraid of the contact is. The captain from Thames Valley. No! Short ball on this occasion to Lamert. Out of the Horafanua Kapri region, the mechanic, the kick over the top, it's wasted. It's just giving possession back to Samoa. And this man can shift, feet out. Broken play. Ed feet out. Gets the pass to Lamb. The crowd find their voice, got Nano Williams. He steps. Well, Stays in play. Malo Lua gets it as an advantage. Mully Pollock. Massive numbers if they shift right, Willie. And that's where they're going to go. 
PC knows and kicks it across. Tuala scored two. Tuala to the line. Offloads. It says, well, you have one. Skinner just confirmed their point for the restart. Oh, deserved a finish like this, Willie. Been such a good game. Disappointment for the Heartland 15. Came in as massive underdogs, but they've made a real contest of this, the home side. But Samoa, they've done so many good things this afternoon, scored some fantastic tries. Seen some great examples of the real essence of Island rugby. And this has been one of the better players out there, Ed Fidel. Full time Hooter goes, and what a celebration of Samoa and rugby. The heads up play from PC. Ball bounces nicely for Tuala and selfishly offloads. And last act of the game to come. TCPC as the conversion and it is a celebration of the Pacific in Auckland. Samoa scored three tries in the first, three in the second and have beaten the Heartland 15 by a healthy margin of 36 points to 19. Doubles for Ala Ala Tore and Tuala. Lelo picked up one, Lel Pepe scored one and four. The Hartland 15, it was right, Holani and Paiua. There's the Samoan Prime Minister looks on. Absolute delight for the Samoans. And their coach, Steve Jackson, will be making his 31 name, but let's get some reaction on the field. Kirsty Stanaway is with a happy Samoan captain. Yes, he is a very happy, the captain. Jack, congratulations. At the home of rugby at Eden Park, in front of your home fans, how does it feel to get that victory? Yeah, obviously, uh, happy we got the W in the end, but still lots to work on. What sort of things do you want to work on? What were the boxes that you wanted to tick coming into this match? Well, obviously, uh, we didn't know too much about the Heartland team, but we obviously focused a lot on ourselves this week. Uh, obviously, uh, they scored 19 points, we'll work on that. What areas of your game were you pleased with as a team? As a team, I thought uh, we came out with an attacking mindset. Uh, we tried a couple of things, uh, working out of our own half. Um, we'll have a look at those again, and I'll uh, work on those. Looking ahead, you've got Australia next week. Is the team looking forward to that one? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, we've uh, got a lot to work on until we get to the Wallabies there at a different level. Well, well done today. You thoroughly entertained this crowd. A fantastic game from you and your side. Yeah, thank you to everyone in Auckland and obviously our supporters here. And uh, it's been a great occasion. Hopefully we do it again soon. Thanks very much, Jack. OK, we go now to the captain of New Zealand, Hartland 15. He's with Carlton Anna. Yeah, thanks very much, Kirsty. Now, Brett, I know commiserations on the loss, but I mean, to play Samoa, how was that? Oh, how good, eh? It's was, it was so good. Uh, so good to be here in, in front of uh, so many supporters here at Eden Park, eh? It's, yeah, it's unbelievable. Now, just tell me a little bit. I know you had a short preparation, just the week coming into this, but the effort the lads were able to stick into it again, you've got to be very proud. Yeah, yeah we uh, had a good week. We come in on Monday, had a, uh, five days of camp. So, yeah, I think uh, having, a, having a lot of those boys back from last year really helped, um, yeah. Uh, all the boys challenged together, so yeah, we uh, prepared well and we knew it was going to be a physical battle and I think the boys stood up today, yeah. If there was one thing you could go back and correct that, that, that you thought would make the difference to win this game, what would that be? Um, it was all there, I think we just ran out of gas at the end, um, so yeah, maybe a bit more fitter. Um, but yeah, other than that, I was pretty happy with the boys' performance today. You spoke about the returning guys, there's a few of them in the squad, but it's your first time. Not many have played here at Eden Park. I mean, for you personally, how was that playing on uh, NZR uh, HQ? Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's so big here, and uh, yeah, you see it on TV all the time, so it's, um, yeah, it's good to be here on TV and playing uh, with the silver fern on your, on your chest, you know? It's, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's always uh, awesome to be able to come to this place and wear a black jersey. Congratulations on the game. Fantastic for your squad, and go well the next one, eh? Yeah, cheers, bro. Thank you.
They really played their part at the Heartland 15, but Samoa too clinical, too much class, and in the end ran out winners by 36 points to 19.